just caught one of the most vicious, nasty, crazy little monsters from a rock pool. It is the Bleeny. Now, when I was a kid, I used to keep these guys as pets. The trouble with keeping a Bleeny as a pet in a fish tank is that when you've got Bleenies, you've got nothing else because they rip and tear everything apart. I put a nice big armoured crab in there one day thinking, nah, they won't hurt that. He's all sharp and pinchy and they tore it apart before I could get him out. It's just a vicious, nasty little guy. I tried keeping a squid in the aquarium. The water turned black and then he was gone. I tried keeping midwater fish in the aquarium. Bleenies would come up and nibble their fins until they couldn't swim and then they'd eat them. The Bleeny, one of the most savage little wolves of the rock pools. There's really powerful pectoral fins right there and uh, sometimes they remind me a bit of mud skippers because they rest on the bottom I think they actually move around with those a little bit almost like a mud skipper does on land the bleeny does sort of underwater and if it gets stuck in really really shallow water so it flips around but it also only flips like a normal fish flaps about it also uses those front pectoral fins to move about a bit as well nice little adaption very powerful little bite too I mean not only do they attack other sea creatures but as kids I remember catching these guys and getting a nip from them and uh, thinking gee that's pretty powerful for a little fish Again, with drawing, it's a matter of looking. At first glance, you think, oh, it's a little black fish, but when you really look at it, you really see all these little patterns. And so, whether you're somebody who loves nature and wants to observe nature, or whether you're an artist and you want to draw, the key is really observing and really seeing what you can see in front of you. Here you go. And no harassing the other fish. Boom, there he goes.